Students from a local elementary school connected with their elders by doing art projects at a nursing home. Our reporter Malak Katab shares with us how the students spent their time. Kindergartners and eighth graders from Heartland Christian Academy visited with the elders today at Gold Pine Home. The kids sang songs and made arts and crafts inspired by Dr. Seuss's book, The Lorax. And what kind of arts and crafts are you helping with them today? Truffle trees. Truffle trees are a made up plant from the children's book. And each month when the kids visit the nursing home, they do an art project that is targeted towards that specific month. Because of Dr. Seuss's birthday in March, so we decided, and, and we just wanted to bring some sort of a spring type tree flower into their um, into their room. The kids try and leave their art projects at the nursing home so the residents can have a memory of their visit. Graf says coming to the nursing home is a great service project for their students. Just to build relationship with the uh, residents here and um, every month our kids look forward to coming and each month um, the res we get more and more residents that show up. I've been told that a lot of Gold Pine residents that participate in the activities that the kids provide have a former background in education. We have a lot of residents who were teachers or uh, school bus drivers or Sunday school teachers and so not only are the residents grandparents or great grandparents but they do have that history of working with children and so it's really especially meaningful for those who spent a lot of time with children um, previously. The students look forward to their visit to Gold Pine and enjoy interacting with the residents every month. Reporting in Bemidji, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. Each month the school brings different grade levels of students to visit the residents to the connect with the elderly. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.